I thought the quarter was miraculous. Uh, the, the numbers are just extraordinary. It reminds me of Intel in the 1996 to 1998, maybe nine period, when they were doing uh, the 46, the five, and then the Pentium. David, Jensen Wong, I want you to read this conference call tonight, okay? I because will. He I is, do actually, I do typically try and read them. You've called him Da Vinci in the past. He's Da Vinci. You've been a positive of, uh, on the stock for years. I named my uh, late dog after NVIDIA. Yes, and, uh, and I always look forward to this. And I'm glad you're breaking for him because, I mean, listen, you got a lot of great guests tonight, but he's probably the most single most important. The largest, he's going to be the largest semiconductor company in the world. He did say, Dave, and the reason I turn to you is he's quite, he used the word confident, that the arm holdings deal, which, of course, we put a hammer lock on so much. That, well, they think it's going to ha they're going to yes. get it through. I know. I'd be very curious to hear their thinking on that given... I mean, maybe they know something out of the U.K. that we don't. Maybe they understand. They certainly understand the Chinese approval process, given it took them a while, but right. they did get Mellanox done. And that was very valuable for the but, quarter. But, Jim, I mean, you've brought it up many times. Uh, we're no stranger to the idea that it's going to be very difficult to get the arm holdings transaction approved. Well, it's game, set, match if they get the arm holdings. And uh, Jensen was Well, typically, promised. if something's game, set, match, that's the reason for antitrust, antitrust regulators well, to say there, no. There are people against it. But, Carl, I'll tell you that they actually, uh, a lot of people are confused. One of the reasons it's down is people are trying to figure out, are they getting hurt by, uh, by crypto, by Ethereum? Uh, they don't know how much goes to Ethereum. That's nonsense. This stock should be up very big. This stock has this situation almost every time. Where this, in 2018, it had the same crypto thing. But the stock goes down, and then people say, wow, there must be something with a quarter. And then they go back, and they listen to Colette Crest, who's an amazing CFO. They listen to Jensen Wong, and they realize that the data center, it is theirs. Okay, the data center. They have chips that can learn. They have the machine learning chips that are artificial intelligence that are so needed. And gaming, Carl, you can't use their, you can't game without their chips because it's lifelike. I defy people to, to figure out whether it's an actor or whether it's an actual design. And remember, Jensen at heart is a painter. <laughs> He's a painter. He's an architect. Yeah. He, he is a sculptor. He's, I think he invented the first helicopter. Remember that in the Da Vinci Museum, David? I, I do. There, right? Maybe he's invented the electric helicopter. Maybe that, that's... A SPAC. Somebody else invented that. He's got a SPAC? No, he doesn't have a SPAC. Thankfully, he doesn't. Everybody else does. Us three and him. The only four who don't have SPACs. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.